The idea of forgiving ourselves is a really popular concept today, but it's an idea that is totally foreign to a Christian or biblical understanding of both sin and forgiveness. Because forgiveness is a transaction. It requires at least two people, two parties, in order for forgiveness to happen. The person who was sinned against and the person who did the sinning. If you don't have both parties, that transaction of forgiveness, of removing the sin debt, can't actually happen. Now the good news is, is that every sin necessarily includes two parties because every sin is necessarily primarily against God himself. So when we sin, it's always against God. Now there may be other parties involved with that sin as well, but there's always at least two parties. So forgiveness is always transactually possible when a sin is committed. So why is the idea then of forgiving ourselves so popular today? Well, it's popular because we think about forgiveness in mainly therapeutic terms. That is how it will make us feel better about ourselves. Where the Bible paints a picture of sin and forgiveness as being primarily an objective reality. Sin is a violation of God's universal moral standard. It is a moral problem, not a therapy problem. It is a moral standard that has been violated. And forgiveness restores individuals who have violated that moral standard to right relationships with others and with God. And what the Bible really wrestles with is, is how can that forgiveness be possible? Because a universal standard has been broken and God is righteous and just. And all of us need that forgiveness, but we can't earn it. We can't make ourselves right. And the answer is presented to us through the God-man, Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect life. He went to the cross, willingly, died in the place of ruined sinners, took upon himself the full wrath of God, do for those sins so that God is both just and the justifier. So forgiveness can be offered only through the blood of Jesus Christ. And the only way that blood is applied is through repentance and faith, turning from your sin and believing in the work that Jesus has done. And I think that's what people mean when they say forgive themselves. They're wrestling with this idea that my sin is too great to be forgiven or that I'm not good enough to be forgiven. And what they've done is, is they've missed the point of the work of Christ. The point is, is that you can't be forgiven on your own. You need someone greater than you. You need the blood of Jesus. So really, this idea of forgiving ourselves, I think, is really us wrestling with the idea that either we need to add to the work of Jesus Christ or that our sins are somehow greater than his blood. But his blood is the foundation and the guarantee of the forgiveness of all the sins of those who believe in him. And this problem gets even more complicated because we read that Satan is the great accuser. That it is his job to stand before God and to say to us even that we aren't forgivable. That our sins are too great to be covered by a holy God. And it is there that the Christian needs to go to the foot of the cross, remind himself of what Jesus has done, and to believe in what he has done. That his blood is enough that his work is enough, that his resurrection guarantees that our sins have been forgiven. And it is there that we find rest in the forgiveness freely offered to us through the work of Jesus Christ. <laughs>